still remaining quiet on where she was during her missing time, but frankly, I do not care. She's got that look at me, I'm back attitude, and it reflects in her style. You know it. She was seen returning to the castle, rocking those possibly was kidnapped leggings, all while sporting a I might have just run away and ran out of money <laughs> hooded cloak. What do you think she's gonna be wearing at the wedding? No idea, but no doubt it will compliment her chosen spouse's home kingdom. That's right. Princess Desdemona has finally made her choice, and it's Praetor Cargan of the Marvog Empire. Oh, she listened to us. It was the obvious choice from the get-go. So obviously obvious. So, so long, Prince Phineas Pomp of the Bertrand Kingdom. You just didn't make the cut. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm, See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. I love <laughs> that each morning Bye. we've had like a different radio host. It's been different people. So, she made her choice. Her life is filled with intrigue, and I feel like I am now somehow intertwined with her fate's path. Oh well, off to go see what the gang's up to. Okay, well there's a note. Let's have a there's nosy a note. note. Dear Lil, here is some excuse why I can't work the guard shed today. Love, Dad. Back to the guard shed for me. Just... Wait a minute, where's the chronometer? I always leave it right here. Not in or under there. Has our dad taken it? There. there it is. What's it doing under the bed? Spooky. I, I don't remember putting it there. Wait, what time is it? I don't want to be late. For a time machine, you'd think they could have at least put a clock on it somewhere. Hmm. Something's going on with it. We're going to have to go try and speak to... The person who gave it to us. Oh, this great. whole wretched endeavor has been a disgrace, not only to Prince Phineas and myself, but to the entire history of Petrard. King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk will not sit idly by while their royal lineage is dragged through the mud. He could go marry one of the milkmaids. Jeez, what a big baby. Princess Desdemona is better off without you. Say what you will. Your words and your sweet-smelling city will soon be drowned out by the musk of the sulfur mines of Petrard. Oh. May your home be exploded by a bottle of fine Petrardian fizzy. Well, that's not great. No. That isn't great at all. Okay, the Royal Writ. Excerpt from a Petrardian book of etiquette and manual of politeness. There is general distaste for non-humans in Petrard. However, any formal event is elevated by the presence of elves. Delicate beauty rules the day when it comes to the meal. Remember this golden rule even, the, even in the face of total of catastrophe. Dignity always dignity. And then... Excerpt from a wedding survivor's guide to the Marvag Empire. This guest senses were assaulted at one of their week-long wedding battles. Admiration was heaped upon people around me wearing war paint. The more hardcore the better, the smell of meat and blood hung in the air. Their approach to food was... Oh, how do you... I don't know how you say that. It was treated mostly as an afterthought. Almost says. Reports indicate a dramatic increase in secret meetings and rumblings of revolution. To admit a goblin is to be hit with a 40 gold fine, no exceptions. The wedding is almost upon us. Have your eyes open for vendors and artisans making their way into the sprawl for the big event. I'll be in my office if you need me, Ash. And it says... Sorry. The Wakandan prince I sent all my banking information to finally came through my show the gold. Call me if you're a pinch, rich in friends and gold, Malcolm. Okay, so we can't admit any goblins. Fortunately. Um, okay, let's put one of you in there. Uh, one of you in there. You... I'm going to make sure they all at least have one pink. I'm going to put the other pink in there because it could come in handy. We're going to put a yellow one in there. 
one in there and then another yellow and I think that'll be fine for the day Michael hello Will what no more sparkly suit it was a rental besides today I'm here in a different capacity to help coordinate the royal wedding you have a lot of jobs Mike and wedding planning is my least favorite out of all of them. Tell you what, why don't you be the wedding planner for the day? What do you think? I think it's very irresponsible to get a 12-year-old girl to do two grown men separate jobs. Exactly, Lil. Exactly. All you have to do is choose the music, decorations, and food menu for the big event. It's simple. Just let in the one you like the best. Or the one you think the groom would like best. Or who the bride will like. I'm sure it's not really going to affect anything. Or it might. See, it's simple. Do you want me to explain it again? No, we've got it. Okay, good. The only thing I hate more than wedding planning is talking about wedding planning. Well, the you'll wedding just musicians will be coming out, yeah. by for you to choose first. Here's the gold. See you later, Lil. Whoa, this gig pays great. The money's not for you. There's three choices for music, food, and decor, and each comes with its own price tag. The go Do I have enough money to just pick the most expensive choices? The most exp Not necessarily. And no, you don't have enough. Anything over budget will have to come out of your own pocket. I see. Oh, a little tear. But if there's any money left over, you get to keep it. I see. Well, that's good. We're on a tight timeline, so keep an eye on your action points. You've got four per round, so that's talking to everybody once or to two folks twice. You get the idea. Need that run by you one more time? Nope. We've got it, Michael. Remember, you do the choosing. I'll be here to record your choice and keep track of the budget. Okay, well, it's no biggie. Just choose the three most important elements of any wedding and try not to stress that it's a royal one. You got this. Okay, let's get talking. Vlad Extreme here, mate. I know what you're thinking. What is the baddest, metalist bad boy of death metal playing some skit royal wedding? Well, I ain't here just to collect a big paycheck, mate. I'm here to stick it to the bourgeoisie and not take any of their crap, mate. Rock and roll all life long. Okay. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hello. My name is Suzette Bougette, and I sing um, with my voice. I do the slow songs and the nice songs and some of the ones you know. Hello, young lady, the name is Jacob Fiddlestein, and me and my accordion here play all the polka conga you kids are so crazy about these days. A one and two and polka conga two and three and polka conga three and one and polka conga, hey! Oi, I nearly winded myself there. Hmm. I'm between these two. Have you made up your mind? They do ballet. I, I'm leaning towards her in the middle. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Do you love me too? That's a little sample, I guess, if you like. I'm, you know. Okay. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We're gonna go with you. I like you. Oh, that is um so lovely of you. I'll start warming up right now. Good choice, maybe. I'll write this down and be back when the next group turns up. See ya, kid. Let's go.
Well, if it isn't THE Edward, THE Great Magician. Got another group of brats to entertain? Where are you pulling a rabbit out of now? I'm afraid I've put my days of magic and illusions behind me. You got kicked out of the Magician's Union, didn't you? <laughs> when in defeat, find another job. Yes, I did. Seems people preferred the actual dark arts to my light entertainment. No matter, though, I've got a new career now. Let me guess. You're a priest. Working at your parents' garden shop? Psst, they wish. I'm a wedding officiant. I'm here to officiate the royal wedding. Really? You? Uh, I mean, you are? I am. Well, I mean, I'm sure it can't go wrong. I'm going to bring Ash up and just see if this is right. Hello, Councilwoman Ash? I'm sorry to bug you on such a busy day, but... Mill! Thank goodness you called. Seems in all the chaos of organizing this wedding so fast, we forgot to hire someone to officiate the ceremony. Do you know anyone who could do the job last minute? This has got to be a joke, right? I never joke, Lil. Well, that's not true. I often share a laugh with my fellow political and high society types. But this is beside the point. Find someone now, and quickly, and don't dally. I now guess you'll go in. Dreams do come true. They forgot to hire an officiant and are looking for someone to work the gig. Think you got what it takes? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. See, Mom and Dad, I knew hard work and persistence would pay off in the end. I am actually proud for Let's him and chalk happy. Let's this one up to dumb luck. Good luck, Edward. Thanks again, friend. We're not friends. Oh my god. Are Edward and I friends? <laughs> okay. You're going in. That was a nice, easy one. Okay, who's Hello next? Hello there, I'm back. On to the decorator candidates. I don't have to tell you how Why did the music the at the start sound a little like come dine with me? Can be. I don't have to tell you because I refuse to tell you. Anyways, here they are. Take your shot. Oh, but we can't admit you. We'll get a fine if we admit you. Hello again, Mum. Thought I'd see my way down to do some decorating for the royal wedding. It What's your idea? Per se, but I got my cerulean blue, blood red, and cadmium green with me. So I'd go do something with them, I suppose. Hmm. What about you? Hello. I've got some grand ideas, you know, for how the royal wedding should be. You might not know it, but I read all the latest wedding magazines down at the salon when I'm getting the old do done. And apparently what's in these days is meat. <gasps> Big bold slabs of meat on the wall. It gives things a real abattoir feel, so they say. So I guess I'd go with that. And um, what about you? Who am I, you ask? Only the editor of the biggest wedding magazine in circulation right now. There's no one else who can do the royal wedding justice, darling. Surely you've seen my work. No, we haven't. Just don't look in last year's issue, darling. I went on a real tangent about slaughterhouses one night, and my team printed everything I said. Blame the Quaaludes. This year, darling, we'll do something daring. Daring and bold, darling. Can you feel it? I know this is going to use an action point, but I'm sure there was some of that mentioned. Uh, the smell of meat and blood hung in the air. We're going to go with her in the middle. I'm just going to ask her I one more page thing. Out of the magazine for you to see. Just don't tell the salon. Have We've made, made our decision. Yes. That's the sweet smell of my successful design ideas, which will smell just like actual butchered hanging meat. And it's set in stone. I'll write this down and be back with the next group. See ya, kid. <laughs> he seems, like, happy that we're just, like, 
not bothering him, honestly. Hey, it's it the elf I, dude. Articulous flame hands. A contestant you did not find worthy on the hit show, so you think you can save a princess. Not going to lie, that really stung. In any case, I have a message to deliver to the High Council of the Mages Guild. So if there's nothing else, I will be on my way. I'm going to ask him one oh, more time. It's getting harder and harder for mages to communicate openly. So everyone is resorting to this secret message, cloak and dagger nonsense. Between us, there's talk of mages dabbling in the magic that dares not speak its name. Yeah, we had one the other night. I kind of felt like something was wrong with the mages guild, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Yes. It is still within control, but if this dark faction keeps pursuing its dark goals, dark days lie ahead. Dark. I want to use the truth spray. <coughs> Did you just truth spray me? Um, yeah. Did it work? I have been telling you the truth. Jeez, you're real suspicious. Yeah, that's this whole job. <laughs> well, no, I'm that was delivering a... this message. Actually, now that I think of it, the fact that this message is so heavily coded is highly unusual. I'm a guild member in good standing, but things have been trending that way ever since King Oswin died. It's like everyone started breaking off into different factions. It's hard to tell who is steering the ship, you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean, and I know what we're going to do for you. We're going to decode that message. Hey, can I see the letter you're delivering? What does this say? Incredible. Let me see. No, this cannot be true. These renegade mages are more deeply embedded than I thought. I was sent to deliver this? Dear child, thank you for saving me from myself. I must flee and work to weed out the bad actors within the guild. Dark days lie ahead. Be careful, your name was also mentioned in the letter. Oh. I'm glad we helped him out. Honestly, I'm very glad we did, in fact, help All him right, out. Alright, kid, can you feel it? We're almost done. This is the last hellish choice you'll have to make as a wedding planner. I, for one, cannot wait to be finished. <laughs> he just wants to go home. Just hurry up and pick the food option for the wedding so we can get out of here. I'm not allowed to leave. <sighs> okay. Let's start from the back and work to the front. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle François Saint-Français, head waiter à la chaise de la maison. We provide the finest and the fanciest of delicacies for the newly married royal couple and their guests. Only the smallest portions for the highest prices, of course. Very shishi pompon for the snootiest of people. A place I think like you they're going to want to eat a lot more than, like, tiny food, portions, no you know? You tried. Hmm. Okay. What about you? Good afternoon. I'm here today representing Catering Corp regarding a contract to provide the sustenance for the large gathering known as the Royal Wedding. Catering Corp is willing to provide the base amount of calories needed to sustain such a high-capacity event in return for appropriate remuneration. I am accompanied by samples of our food and a detailed list of ingredients available upon request. Hmm. And then we're gonna go Monty's to you. Monty's has the soup. That's all I'm allowed to say. <sighs> that is gonna be really expensive. I'm between these two. Um. Let me see your samples. I am legally bound to share this collection of foodstuffs labeled accordingly. I am also legally required to share that the base ingredient in all dishes is military rations. Mm. 
Hmm. I think we had a Monty's menu. We're gonna go with you. I'm gonna go with Monty's. We look forward to making it a super event. Get it? Thank God this nightmare of a job is over. Well, at least I hope it's good. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for messing up something like a royal wedding. Anyways, goodbye. I don't think I picked the right choice there. I am a citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing to declare on my person and I demand to be allowed entry. Wait a minute, I remember you. You were the speaker at the, um, Viva La Gobble Lucien. Indeed I was. Today I understand that the doors to the sprawl are closed to my people. You have a choice. You either let me in and incur the penalty, or you arrest me. I'm sorry that you are the one in this position, but I must take this stand. For the good of us all, Viva La Gobble Lucien! I have no further statement to make beyond the following. I am a citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing to declare on my person, and I demand to be allowed entry. You know, there's a real hefty fine for letting goblins into the sprawl. With the wedding coming up, security is at an all-time high. The thing is, though, they're probably going to be put into, like, I am a building stuff, of so... The Why should my being a goblin impact the security of anything? I demand to be allowed entry. Exactly. You know what? Um, I am just gonna. If you want to search me? Go ahead. I solemnly declare that. We're gonna use it just to be on the safe side. I don't think there's gonna be anything. No. We just had to be sure. Okie dokie, well, I will face the charge for letting you in. Honestly, you've got a lot of backbone, kid. You're standing on the right side of history today. You should come by the GLA headquarters again sometime. On behalf of the entire GLA, thank you. Viva la Gobolucion! You followed your heart and defied the draconian species rule. But maybe there was a way to get around paying that darn fine. Ooh. I'm going to rewind. And I'm only going to do it because I want to know if there is a way to get away with that fine. Okay, I'm back in a moment. Sorry, I forgot to start recording. Basically... I've called Malcolm and Malcolm was like, if you let him in, I will pay the fine because he's curious about what the GLA is going to do. Of course I do. Founding member. Well, not really, but of course I know of them. I don't just sit down here reading and writing Yelp reviews for Monty's, although I do that a lot too. You'll pay if I let him in? Bingo. Let me just find my wallet. Okay, I'm just going to question him one more time. The treatment of my people, and indeed most all non-humans in the sprawl, is a disgrace. A national embarrassment. If I do not have the freedom to come and go from my home as I please, what do I have? Nothing. So once again, I say to you, I am a citizen of the sprawl. I have nothing to declare on my person. Okay. Look, I agree that it's awful that non-humans have been singled out by this decree. Is there any way you could help me pay the fine that I would be charged by letting you in? I will have no part in paying one cent towards the draconian and completely illegal tax on my personhood. That's absolutely fine, because Malcolm said he's going to do it anyway. So, you are going in. Have a nice day. You've got a lot of backbone, kid. You're standing on the right side of history today. You should come by the GLA headquarters again sometime. On behalf of the entire GLA, thank you. Viva la Gobolucio! Okay, I feel better at that.
And then I think we just got one more person and then our shift's done for the day. Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for... Uh, say, you there, little girl? I, I need to get to the other side of the sprawl without delay. You know what, Dad? To to me. This is time sensitive. I know you got your instructions, but it's important that I get going quickly. Do we have... Okay. I'm going to choose Freya and I'm only doing it because I want to find out the truth. It's my own fault that I'm running so far behind, but I need this job to go well. Maybe I'm in such a bad mood because I spend all my time talking about my process and making bullshit small talk at cocktail parties rather than being able to focus on creating my art. Wait a minute. What just happened? Okay. Um. I swear someone was supposed to give you guys a heads up that I was coming. Let me spell it out for you. I went to school to become an ice sculptor. My parents said, you'll never make a living at it. And they were right. Until the royal wedding, that is. This is my big break. I got the ice. I sculpted it. Now I have to deliver it. It's hot out. Just let me through so I can prove my parents wrong. Okay, I'm gonna trust like you, you're but- you're under a lot of pressure. I'll try to get you on your- Thank you. You have been an immeasurable help in the battle for my parents. I'm very quickly just gonna call Ash and then we'll, we will see what she says. Haven't you gate guards seen a whole bunch of wedding vendors today? Sounds like everything checks out. Why are you calling me with this? Hear that? Finally some- Okie dokie. I just wish I'd scammed it. I mean, thank you, but my work is probably ruined. I have a... I want to rewind it because I want to try and get perfect score. I know it's bad of me, but I also really want to scan that. Just to make sure there's like nothing weird in that trailer. In the trailer, in the car. Where's Hamish? I, I really don't have time for. Uh, I need you to listen to me. This is time. Okay, I am gonna use the X ray on that. Okay, so she is in fact a nice sculptor. That's my chisel. I'm a sculptor. Thank you. I'll need that. Okay, I'm just gonna let you one through because obviously it's gonna melt if we don't and we don't need that getting held up anymore. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Sorry for coming in hot. Weddings are the worst. If you can get close enough, take a look at my sculpture. I'll throw something in there just for you. Gotta go. That was so sweet. Okay, let's let it go. And I think that's it for the day. I think we are done. Oh, we've got another letter. Your choices for the wedding displeased the prey are greatly. You will receive no bonus for your toll. No kapla for you. Kapla. Great. But they still wrote kapla there at the end. Well, we did our best. Hey, we got 30 gold. Okay, let's go. Ooh. That's glitched out. What's going on with it? I have a very bad feeling about this. Salve il espoir. Regno meo grata. Hello there, little girl. Welcome to my row. I need to get out of here. And fast. What's the rest of the same play a while? Think, Lil. Think. Hospices in Ocrenia. A tulistina donna solita. I grec viritur imulatio. Ircis immortem vitare velis. Quia pueressa. Non costutitus avira. 
how to turn to the data and is underground to consumer. The wine is dead? Non io cari, nunc facere maliqui, si è sentito. Ego sum dimo, e geos meum cisio et similes omines inox necavo. Nun incipiam de decem antiquam pe imperficiam? Sige, bene. Decem. Nove. This one doesn't Octo. work? Sette. Six. Quinque. Quattro. These tools are... Tres. Duo et demidium. Duo. Unum et demidium. Unus. I don't know what to do. Gravissime non omnibus hoc facie. Hoc extremum fato est refortende unde remistis. Did I do the right thing? What the f was that? That was next level. <laughs> Honestly, that would be my same reaction. I'm going to go down to the dig site to throw this stupid time machine down a deep hole. Okay, Lil, get it together. You can still do this. Okay. We need to go to the dig site as soon as possible and speak to her and be like, hey, something's going on with this. It's creeping me out. You've got to take it back. Sh got too real with your chronometer 3000 thing today. I don't want it anymore. Hi, B. So nice to see you, B. Your paper in the Journal of Dwarven Medicine was a revelation, B. Well, excuse me, but I was just pulled into what I'm guessing was a parallel dimension and was almost murdered by a demon. Hmm, how unfortunate. I always wondered what the byproduct of St. Bartholomew Inglebrook's lunar incantation would have on the relationship between time and interplanar folding. Stop it. I don't care about any of that. Just take it back. I'm sorry, I truly am, but we've come too far. I'm sorry I've been absent, but I've been watching, and the readings I've been receiving have been very promising. But I don't want to get pulled to deal I with the demon. I don't care. But you would care if everything and everyone you knew and loved was at risk. Wait, what? Everything might seem like we're in a storybook, but open your eyes. We're on the verge of a civil war from inside the walls. And if you hadn't heard, the princess just pissed off some very powerful people. It is in your best interest to continue to help me with the device. Because who knows when we will need to rewind time and unf something more important than which nobody you chose to send to the dungeon today. And you're here, after allegedly going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an interplanar demon. I trust you. I'm not gonna keep doing this forever. You and everyone else are gonna owe me a childhood, you know? Keep helping me with the Chronometer 3000 and we can see about making that happen for you. Well, that didn't go as planned. Okay, so we can go to the Goblin Headquarters, Garby Shop, or the Twister Sisters. Ooh, let's go to the Goblin Headquarters. there another speech? Ooh, who are you? Are you one of the players from- Hello? Hello? I brought the orange slices. Was today a regular meeting day or one of those top secret planning for what's gonna happen at the princess's wedding days? Is anybody here? I'm here. Are you here for the meeting? I don't think so. Oh, then you can't have any orange slices. Those aren't orange slices. Those are just the rinds. I got hungry. Bless him. Can we not, like, go be nosy? Ooh, there's a no! What's this? I've gone back to where it started to find myself in light. We were apart for more than a lifetime, but now we'll be right. P.S. Remember to bring running shoes. I have a feeling the GLA leader wrote that. At least, I'm sure that troll over there didn't. I wonder what it means.
Should we have a word with him? Huh. I better get more oranges before the meeting starts. Unless I messed up the day again. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go home. I am gonna go buy some more upgrades and crystals. We're gonna go to Garby shop. And then we're gonna go home. And then we're gonna end the day. This hat's pretty cool. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Okay, but like, it's better than a rat. You've been at this a while. You should have enough cash by now to power up your arsenal. Take a look. And then I'm gonna upgrade that. Okay, let's go home. I wonder if anyone's hanging around here what we can speak to. Oh no. Ah, here she is. The little guardsman who spoke to the princess and secured the union between the sprawl and the great Marvag Empire. Yeah, I did. Told her just what to do and she listened to my every word. I admire your complete lack of modesty. Modesty is such an ugly thing. Let us celebrate with a tankard of blood wine. Kapla! Uh, I'm 12. I can't drink alcohol. Haha, <laughs> never fear. There is no alcohol in Marvak blood wine. Just blood. In a big cup called a tankard. Yeah, I'm a hard pass on that. Haha, <laughs> very well. There will be much blood wine at the royal wedding where this Sprawl and Marvag tie their fortunes together forever. Let us raise a glass to the gatekeeper who brought us all together this day. Kapla! Did a mouse sneeze somewhere? Come, child, louder and with fury! Kapla! Too furious, far too furious. We are not at war. Be careful shrieking like that. But as we say in Marvog, better to be too furious than not to be furious at all. I'm exhausted. I shall now recite the Marvog Pledge of Unwaver. And that's my cue to leave. <laughs> okay, well, let's go. Should we speak to her about the rats? Today's cocktail special is. Uh, not relevant to you, Lil. Sorry. And we just ran out of milk. Sorry again. No worries, it can't be held. Lil, can you be on the lookout for a health inspector? They can look like anybody. How about you whistle if you think you've identified one? I can't whistle. Well then scream health inspector at the top of your lungs. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> okay, I, I think I think it's... I've done everything I need to do. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yes, we are. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.